<laughs> okay, so give me some specific shortcuts that will help people kind of still wrap their brain around what it can do. Mm -hmm. Give me um, some fun ones. So fun ones is, that's what is interesting is there's so many things that it's sort of like I need, per giving me <laughs> limits actually yeah. helps a lot. Um, I mean, I made a fun, silly one that is like the, you know, the SpongeBob meme where you make fun of people and like do every other letter over case, oh, yes. le uh, uppercase and lowercase. I made one that just does that through like a, a programming thing. And Amazing. that was one of my early YouTube videos. So, so you can say Siri, SpongeBob this, yeah. and it'll take a sentence and do lowercase, uppercase, yeah. lowercase, uppercase. So like, oh my there's gosh. tons of meme opportunities That for sure. is what I need in my life. Yeah, exactly. It's I need I'm, more ways to make the memes. I always go for like the pure productivity, like, oh. Right. So, I mean, that's one thing that is like, I'm not like walking around my house, never touching a computer and just using Siri all day long, but there is, it's, it's I'd say it's getting closer and closer, but um, I mean, some there's a lot of opportunity with the web and writing um, like articles because that can be, there's a lot of process there right. in times and then you end up getting hung up on like writing HTML or something ridiculous. And so right. I actually make it so a lot of my blog posts end up taking me only like an hour or two, including all of the screenshots and imagery compared to like four or five. Um, and that In can- what ways? Um, just like speeding up some of the formatting or if you have links, you can often like get data from the web and then like get the title of a link or something. So like even I use it for my YouTube descriptions where I'll like paste in the URLs and then it'll grab the titles and reformat them nicely. So there's a lot of processed it there. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so you're basically on your Mac, right? No, or, actually I do this all from my iPad too. And really? Yeah, okay, so because, but essentially since you can't have Siri on your Mac, you could be doing this just by pressing the Siri button, right? Um, it or doesn't no. run on Mac right now okay. because it's built with iOS gotcha. technology. Yeah. Okay, so you're on your iPad, uploading a new video, you need to add the description. You're basically, do you have it as one of the sidebar things where you're pressing uh, pressing the shortcuts or are you saying, hey Siri, this, yeah. and then it's adding the description? I'd say I'm usually running the shortcut use on the app, not using Siri, because sure. it, it was workflow before, didn't have any of the Siri mm -hmm. capabilities, and so that is all brand new. And at a certain point, like you can use it all with voice, but maybe we can talk about this later, like it doesn't all have to be only voice. Like we're not just right. immediately gonna switch to right. like talking well, to our Exactly, audience. and that's what I, I do wanna talk about that. But what's interesting with the iPad OS um, mm. that just released is you can now access and multitask yes. like things very easily. Yeah. And so I can see is that your workflow where you swipe shortcuts, have it in your, you know, one third and then mm. you're on Safari and your other one and you're pressing. Yeah, and it works. There's, you can do it in split view um, from the home, like you can add icons to the home screen. Right. So it is, I actually just started doing that, adding almost all of my shortcuts to the home screen so that I can, because I, I do have like a thousand of them, which is ridiculous. Um, so it's actually like at a certain point it does get hard to just remember to use them when I can't, if they're buried in an app. Um, but there is other way that automations feature you mentioned is how they're addressing that a little bit. But um, basically, there's yeah, the iPad can have the widget on the home screen too. Mm -hmm. So the shortcuts has a the widget. The iPad just that, got really fun. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a, and workflow. I think a lot of times has been the main thing that allowed some people to go iPad only. Like yeah. I think a lot of especially Federico Vitici of Mac Stories is sort of the first person who even introduced me into workflow, mm -hmm. and he's been running his website from his iPad for like five to 10 years now. Are you it's, serious? Yeah, it's, he, he's like a man. As a video editor, I'm just, I can't, I yeah. need my laptop. I definitely, you know? I mean, that's an interesting thing that I ran into of trying, it's like I could go iPad only if I wasn't making the videos about going exactly. iPad only. Exactly, so it's like, oh shoot, that kind of. I'm like, when I is. switched to iPad only, you guys better believe, congratulate me, because LumaFusion <laughs> is paying me millions <laughs> yeah. of dollars to promote 100%. that. It's, it's <laughs> that's the right. only way. But I mean, I do like, it's a big thing for me is getting off of my Mac when I don't need to be using it mm -hmm. and, and using the right device for the right tool because then it's can work on your iPad or your phone or HomePod or AirPods or Apple Watch too. Like you can do 
little like health things from your watch or communication stuff mm -hmm. and there's a whole stack of it but i mean yeah give me an example of a communications one um sure um because i got airpods in all the time yeah you know uh let me think i mean it's usually for like sort of your habits especially i mean i assume you're like traveling a good amount and stuff like that maybe just keeping up with family at home or like mm -hmm. you can just make like quick dials to your family so that mm -hmm. you tap it from the home screen and always remember to like call your mom or something like that um, or jump into facetime yeah. is a good way to making do it as an icon there's so many different ways to organize these i mean when i was looking on the app it had I didn't even know this was gonna be under shortcuts, but last year I set up um, in the home app, the mm. automation where depending on my location of my iPhone, that's when my neon peach will go on oh, and nice. off. Uh, and that's connected to a smart plug. And so I thought that like, that's pretty cool, right? So my peach is always on and I never have to worry about turning it off. Um, but now that's in the shortcuts app. Yeah. I just saw it, it's under automations. Yeah.